Hi everybody, Carol and I are on the Carnival Spirit right now, finishing uh, up in a trip to Alaska, and we wanted to walk through for you the setup that we've got for electrical connection. It's good for CPAP, as well as dealing with plugging in things like uh, cell phones, tablets, things like that. So, start look at the electrical, electrical connections. We are in a balcony. You should be able to see that from back behind me. Um, we would assume that the interior rooms would have a similar setup as far as electrical connections. We have one standard 110 outlet, which is this extension cord that we've got plugged in. There's also a 220 outlet in here, which we have an adapter for. Uh, the adapter actually is really nice because it's got some USB ports for it, so you can plug in your uh, mobile devices for that, but it's also got a, a standard 110 outlet so you could have a second connection for things like a, a hair dryer or things like that if you wanted to be able to plug it in. Uh, I've mentioned in one of the previous videos we use a 15 foot extension cord to be able to reach for a CPAP on the bed and we'll sort of show you what that looks like and why we use that 15 foot extension cord. So now the extension cord is what's plugged into the 110 outlet here. We've got cables for plugging in mobile devices. Um, but that cord basically reaches across the countertop, sort of around the corner here. We use magnets to sort of hold that up off the floor, um, help keep from tripping over it, etc. Obviously magnets being used for a variety of other stuff being held up as well. Down into the corner and the plug ends here in the corner. So that is the 15 foot length that we've got on the extension cord. The cable for my CPAP runs basically along the front of the uh, doorway for the balcony to the actual CPAP device. And I sleep on the right hand side of the bed, so this is sort of longest distance we need to deal with. The CPAP is set up here. That part works just great. So. We did bring distilled water with us on the trip for uh, flying out here. We packed that in luggage so that we don't have to worry about going through security with that. That part worked fine. You can order distilled wa uh, water through the ship. Uh, typically, you probably want to try and do that in advance to make sure that they deliver that to your cabin so you've got it for the first night. But you can get it directly from the ship if, you, if that's something you desire instead. So. The setup works great for us. Again, that 15 foot extension cable reaches as far as we need to go to the end of the room to be able to get the CPAP set up and ready to go. And that 220 adapter works great for us to be able to plug in extra devices at night to be able to get everything charged. Works great for us. Hope it will work great for you as well. Uh, the one thing I mentioned also is carry on your CPAP onto the ship as well as the distilled water. Yeah, if you bring distilled water with you, that's okay. They, uh, the ship folks won't mind that as long as you're bringing it with your CPAP device. And so we have done things before with uh, my portable CPAP device. It does not have the distilled water with it, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, but if you're bringing the distilled water, um, just make sure you keep that with the CPAP device. And you should be in good shape. That should take care of it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Feel free to like it. Uh, we've got links below to the equipment, etc., that we've used. So if you have uh, anything else you need, just let us know. Happy cruising!